let's talk about copper. Copper is a critical metal molecule that our body uses for many different biological functions. Specifically, copper is used as a cofactor in many enzymatic processes. Even for sod, superoxide dismutase, the sod one uses a copper zinc sod, meaning copper and zinc are used as the operating table, so to speak, on the enzyme for sod one. So copper, that's just one example. Copper is used in many different processes, even in the preparation of iron to be used as hemoglobin uh, to transport oxygen through your blood. So copper is critical for survival, critical for our cells to function, critical for our proteins to even work everywhere in our body. But let's talk about what a copper overload is. This is when copper builds up in the bloodstream, causing tender points and uh, pains throughout the body. A lot of times this can show itself as migraine. And so copper is building up in the bloodstream, but not absorbing into the cells where it actually is used, where the proteins, where it connects to proteins and where it can actually be functional for all the different biological processes that it's there for. So why is copper not getting into your cells? That's where we look at a couple specific genes, such as the CBS and the NAT2 gene, as well as some of the glutathione genes. Uh, CBS specifically is a gene that works with ceruloplasmin, which is the copper protein, the copper binding protein in the bloodstream. If that protein is less efficient than it should be, then copper is not being moved around where it, as well as it needs to be, and it's not being pushed into cells to be used. It's not absorbable. And so you can work with this genetic SNP with a couple specific minerals and vitamins to help those, that ceruloplasmin and the other copper binding proteins to function correctly. That's exactly why we made our product Copper Balance. A mixture of B6, NAC, zinc, and a couple others allows for ceruloplasmin to function the way it's supposed to. We even got a patent on it because it actually works. It's really a really cool product. So if you have unexplained pains, if you have these migraines that just never seem to disappear, it's probably because you have a lot of copper in your diet, whether from supplements or from copper rich foods, building up in your bloodstream. So let's work with it. Let's try to get that copper to where it needs to go and then get your symptoms to disappear. You can do this.